You got this, baby. You got this. He has to get it. He has to. Someone works that hard for something. Gives it their all. Sleepless nights, blood, sweat and tears. Years of hard graft and slaving away. I remember some nights I used to cry myself to sleep wishing he was with me at night. When he was putting in the hours over there. Pushing for this stupid contract. He's given everything. So, if someone pushes that hard, they deserve it. Don't they? Who are you talking to, baby? No one. You're acting crazy. I'm acting crazy? You're the one who's been acting crazy with this bloody Sanderson account. Don't, don't start with me, Rose, okay? Not now. Not now? If not now, then when, Marlon? When was the last time? You held me, huh? When was the last time you were on the side? I said, not now. Please. Look, I know things have been difficult between us, okay? And I'm so sorry, baby, but this account is going to change our lives. It's all for us. You know I love you, no? Too. Just miss you, that's all. Oh shit. He's there. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Rose, that was delightful. Thank you. Desserts? Not yet. Not yet. Such a cute house you have. trophies over there. You must be good. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm modest. How sweet. Did you hear of the murder that happened a couple of roads away? Murder? No. Not at all. Really? <laughs> so you mean to tell me you're all squashed in these tiny little houses and narrow roads and you didn't know somebody dies less than five minutes away? Anyway, this guy kills his wife and children, and then hangs himself. Such a terrible thing. God, that's, that's awful. Did they say why? Insanity. Typical working class, much like yourselves. Nice house, nice car, livable salaries. The working man's dream. But then something snapped, and he took a knife to his dearest cutting them into tiny pieces before devouring them. Jesus. <laughs> well, Christ had nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> Lack of sex. <laughs> it's been proven. Lack of sex can seriously diminish your sense of morale. Maybe you just wasn't getting that release. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Stop it. <clears throat> it's true. They say he wore a mask. His way of releasing his sinister urges, becoming something inhuman. That's nonsense. You people spend so much time striving just to keep a roof over your heads. Struggling every day just to keep on top of your monthly bills. Going to and from the same buildings, like some lost sheep. Spending all your hard-earned cash on lasers, gadgets technology and trends while still trying to sustain a connection with your mothers and fathers. You people become so lost in this system that you forget who you are. And when you finally get a reflection of what you have become, you simply kill like some animals. All around you collapses and you start to realize you're just this beating flesh locked in a concrete jungle. But then what do I know? I was raised with the silver spoon shoved down my throat. And I haven't worked a day in my life. 
she's got a point. You all lined up road to road like those stations of cattle. You don't know who's living next to you, where they've gone, where they've been, but for some reason, you trust the system so blindly that you expect them to be a decent human being, incapable of theatrical atrocities you see on the news. Because you know they're in the shit, just like the rest of the 95 percenters. Come again? It's been proven. 95% of the world work for 5% of the world. And, uh, let me guess. <laughs> You're the 5%. Correct, pretty lady. And you and your fine man over here are the 95%. Sometimes I find the paradigm comparisons so intriguing. I mean, look at us. We both grew up in the same neighborhood, roughly the same age. Both love football. Both sleep well with a gun under the pillow at night. And both have preference for white pussy. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, one owns the other. So in my mind, with that clear division on the table, somehow I can see that sudden realization of the lack of power you have can drive you mad. All of you mad. <laughs> like monkeys in cages. You're so drunk. Maybe it's in the water. Who knows? But the murder and suicide rates are soaring in these areas. But that's why we exist. Oh no. We exist because it's easy business. Much like your son, Seneca. <laughs> More wine? Sure. <clears throat> so, uh, Vincent, mm. now that the cards are on the table, <laughs> um, and with that in mind, I, I was wondering if maybe maybe we could um, talk about the Sanderson account. <laughs> of course. In front of these little ladies? Uh, yes, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Very well. I've been so impressed with your work, Marlon. You are by far one of the hardest working in the department. You have no flaws and are a shining example of what I need in my team. That is why I am terminating the account. What? You are vital to the firm. I can't have you working for anyone else but me. Not now. Not with all these mystery cases popping up left, right and centre. Understand? Sure. Come on. Think of his uh putting on that mask. Plodding along the chambers like the rest of the minions for the next year. Then we'll talk. Huh? I promise. I think you should go to her. I think she's upset. They give everything and they just take and take.
fuck? Why are you doing this? I guess you should have pulled the door first. Don't do this. You can have the account. You can have it all. <laughs> see how... See how pathetic and receptive you become, huh? When you fear everything you had will be taken from you. Marla, don't you care? I did care. But not now. The only thing in this world I care about is revolver pointing to the head of your pathetic 5%.